today I want to talk to you a little bit about trail cameras and how to use them around your feeders and your mineral licks. You know, we all love to see the animals that come to our products, our Nutri-Deer products, uh, corn, salt, whatever it is you put out there, folks. You know, we all like to see those animals. But there's some tips that we can tell you, and a couple in particular, that are going to save you a whole lot of grief when it comes to taking pictures of your animals with trail cameras. Now right here we have an antler builder mineral lick. Rusty can kind of uh, get a second. He can kind of look at the ground and, and kind of see where the animals have been coming in and, and utilizing this antler builder mineral lick. And uh, what we've done uh, over, the, over uh, the last few months in July and August is uh, we wanted to get uh, pictures of animals, photos of animals coming in there using this mineral lick. And now we're set up and we're uh, getting pictures of animals that are coming into our boss buck spin feeder or our trough feeder so we're trying to document the animals that we have on this property now some of the tips that I have for you when it comes to trail cameras a lot of people don't know that companies like Reconyx make a uh, some people call it a security box some people call it a bear box but these boxes lock and and if you're gonna invest in a in a quality trail camera like these Reconyx cameras and you're in an area where you're not sure if they could walk off folks I would I would suggest going ahead and getting a paying an extra twenty five dollars few bucks for a good lock and get this trail camera secured to where your bears and your coons and and humans don't knock it off kilter walk off with it uh, or whatever the situation might be look for the trail camera manufacturer that whatever trail camera that you buy look for a security box or a bear box and use those and it's, it's a small investment that will really help protect your trail camera we take some people don't believe it but we literally take millions of trail cam pictures a year I've got deer leases in Missouri outfitters in Kansas outfitters and deer leases in Oklahoma outfitters we work with in Arkansas and lots of other states in Ohio and Illinois and what have you. So the, here at Nutri-Deer, the cameras that we have, the cameras that the guys at, at Boss Buck use, we literally look at millions and millions of cam or photos in a, in a yearly basis. We will leave our cameras like this Reconic set here to take three pictures a minute. So when you have deer out in here, okay, we're going to really try to get those really key, great photos we're not choking our trail camera down so much that we're not going to get that perfect photo, that one that we're looking for that really describes our animal. Now, every trail camera has settings, and, and a lot of people like to use a video setting on their trail cameras. Uh, once the, ant, uh, the deer just start to get in hard antler, they really get a good definition of the animal, the buck, how big he is when you flip that uh, trail camera over into video mode. But Reconyx has a, a feature in it called Rapid Fire, and it'll just take pictures while the animals are out here. So you almost get a video effect in, in photographs. Now the, the other tip I have for you, and this is something that we learned the hard way, and this is something that almost everybody forgets to do. When you leave your trail camera, this is the most important thing you can do right here. Wipe that screen off. You can't believe how much dust, dirt, paw prints deer will come up here and they will put their nose on this and sometimes you will come back to your trail camera whether it be a month later and just because you didn't wipe out a little uh, a little smidge right there all of your all of your uh, photos are uh, not in very good shape because every time the camera took a picture it had something on that screen right there and then the other tip I have for you um, you know I've talked about this in several other videos Right now I'm standing in the shade. Rusty's filming to the north of me. My trail camera is facing due north. The sun is going to uh, rise over here and it's going to set over here. The sun is going to be at my back and this trail camera's back all day, every single day, regardless of what the sun angle is, regardless of what season it is. When my animals are out there at that feeder or they're here at this antler builder mineral site, the sun is shining on them I have no glare on my camera and you can really take some beautiful shots of your animals with the sun shining on them. Remember, face your trail cameras north, put your uh, mineral or your feeder 
five to ten yards away and, and let the sun do its work, let the trail camera do its work, I really think that's going to help you and improve the photos. If you'll follow those three steps, you're going to have a lot better success using trail cameras. This is Jeff Williams for NutriDeer. We hope these tel uh, tips help you in the upcoming season. Thanks for watching our videos at NutriDeer.com.